what's going on guys welcome back to another video here on my channel if you are new here i post videos on wednesdays and fridays for you to learn about public speaking wednesdays are my podcast episode just video version and then fridays are youtube exclusive content so please Listen, subscribe, make sure that you go ring that bell so that way you can see every video that I post, especially if you're looking at getting better at public speaking. But today I want to talk about three things that you can do to be better at sales. The first one is slowing down your speech. Too often, especially as high energy people that most of you salespeople are, you speak too fast. You speak so fast and you're going through every single point that you just keep going. It's like running a hundred meter dash. You're just sprinting, trying to get to the end to be able to ask for the sale. Now you need to slow down. You need to be able to understand what it is that your customer is looking for. So don't speed through that. Make sure that you slow down, smell the roses and listen to that customer, which goes into point number two, Listen to your customer. If you are not listening to your customer, you are not able to get those emotions out of them. So make sure that you listen to the customer because they're going to be telling you what it is that they need. Now, public speaking is about knowing your audience. And this is, of course, a one on one conversation, which by definition is not public speaking, but it's still something that you can use when you are on stage. But listen to that audience. And by listen, I don't mean like literally listen to what they have to say. While that obviously is something, but look at their body language as well. If they're over here looking off to the side or they've got their arms crossed or, you know, maybe they're, they're moving back and forth or, you know, they're just looking around. They're not paying attention to you. That means that they're you know, not paying attention to you. They're not engaged. They don't want to hear what you have to say. So you have to try and bring them back in. And when this happens, ask them a question. Asking a question will always get them engaged, but ask about them personally. Don't sit there and ask the question of, are you following what I'm saying? Of course, they're not following what you're saying. They're bored out of their minds. All you're doing is talking about your product or service. And they want to know, not necessarily the details, and this isn't everybody, but they want to know more about how this impacts them, how this is going to help them on a personal level. For example, for talking about solar, yes, you can go in with the details about how you're going to save X amount of dollars every single month and how you're not going to have to pay for solar at all by installing it and it's going to reduce your electric bill. But you need to also see, maybe they're worried about how is it going to look on the house? Which part of the house can I put this on? Can I put it mainly on one side of the roof or do I have to put it on several spots? And what's going to be the most beneficial for me? And when it's being installed, how is this going to impact my day-to-day -day life? Which I don't know a ton about solar, but I'm pretty sure you can get that done in one, two days max and really depend on the size of that system. But you can get that installed and everything and but they want to know how much is it going to impact them so listening to what their rebuttals are the things that they're going to say that they don't why they don't want it so make sure that you listen to what they're saying and listen to their body languages as, as well and third thing be confident know that your product is going to serve them so be confident in yourself but also be confident in your product and know that you are there to serve. Have that self-belief because if you don't have that confidence and that self-belief in yourself, first and foremost, they're not going to trust you because you're not confident. People want to be around confident people. People want to work with confident people. But then secondly, having that confidence and belief in your product or service as well, because if you, the salesperson, don't believe it, how do you expect me the consumer to believe in your product or service. I'm not going to create that belief myself. So you are engaging the emotions of me by listening to what I have to say and having the confidence and the belief in your product or service that you're going to engage those emotions and bring out those emotions for me, for me to be able to believe in your product as well. 
because it's not always about the facts. Yes, of course, going back to that solar example, a lot of it does come down to facts. Is this going to save me money? Yes or no. Am I going to have to pay money? Yes or no. But it also has to do with more of those emotions. How is this going to impact me on a day to day basis? How is this going to impact me when I sell my house? How is this going to impact me as it's being installed? Those are more emotional things. And you can talk about that. And yes, we had a customer, they had the same exact issue and or the same exact concern. And we worked through that and we helped them to understand that this is what happened. And for them, they realized as we got it installed, they realized that it didn't impact their lives as much as they thought when it was being installed and that it wasn't this hideous thing on top of their house. It actually blended in well or it was hidden enough. It wasn't quite as big as they thought. And the house looked normal. So you have to make sure you're engaging those emotions as you have that confidence in yourself and the belief in yourself and your product or service. So those are the three things. Make sure that you have the confidence in yourself. Make sure that you're listening to what your customer has to say and make sure that you slow down your speaking. So what are some other things that you think would help you get better at sales to be able to convert those sales and close and really serve your customer? Let me know in the comments below.